Hi, my name is Tim Davies and I'm the Connectivity Section Lead for MCAV. Today I'll be showing you what the Connectivity Section has been working on in 2020. Semester 1 was an interesting time for us. We had started out in the workshop as usual for the year, but had to transition to working remotely. One of the main focuses for us was integration with the CARS computing system. The connectivity section used onboard units and roadside units last year in our end of year demo, but the onboard units weren't integrated with ROS. We designed the system architecture shown on the slide to achieve full integration with ROS so that we can wirelessly send and receive any data from vehicle to vehicle. The OBU is connected to the PX2, which is the car's central computer via an ethernet cable, and we can send the contents of ROS messages to the PX2 using UDP. The OBU has a number of different applications we can then use to forward this received data. The result is that any ROS topic can be sent and received using the wireless connection on the OBU. This diagram shows how the flow of data works with the different parts of the CARS system, including another project of ours, ICA, which stands for Intersection Control Algorithm. So the Intersection Control Algorithm, uh, firstly, V2V connectivity, is what we're using to facilitate the intersection control. Uh, so V2V connectivity is communication between vehicles using the onboard unit, which looks just like this over here. V2V intersection control is now negotiating traffic in a peer-to-peer -peer fashion without the use of traffic lights. We focus on safety and improving traffic flow. So V2I, which is vehicle to infrastructure intersection control, such as traffic lights, exist already. What about locations where there is no connected infrastructure? This is mainly where we'd anticipate the V2V intersection control algorithm being used. The connectivity team is developing an algorithm to run on CAVs to facilitate intersection control. It's based on existing standards of connected autonomous vehicle message types, such as co cooperative awareness messages which include location, speed, and heading of the vehicle. We're also developing our own message types for unicast communication between the vehicles. So here is a simple scenario of um, a case with two vehicles with the intersection control algorithm. So RL1, which is road leader one, and RL2, which is road leader two, continue to broadcast uh, cooperative awareness messages to all vehicles. Once they're in the VTL or vehicle threshold area, they will start to save information about their neighbours based on the received CAM messages. Once they're within the required distance from the junction, they will compute the neighbouring road leaders and their paths. So road leader one figures out that it's closer to the intersection than uh, road leader two. Road leader one continues through. It doesn't detect a collision. Um, so it crosses the intersection. Road leader two passes the threshold and detects a collision. Since it's not the first road leader, it needs to wait until it re receives an allow pass message before it can go. Road leader one successfully crosses the intersection and sends an allow pass message to road leader two, which is the next road leader. Road leader two then crosses the intersection. And since road leader two is the last road leader, it broadcasts a handover message and continues past the intersection. So this slide is just showing the software design decisions around the message types and the ROS nodes that will be interacting with them for the intersection control algorithm. It's important to figure out the decisions made on each vehicle so that the solution is scalable. So what's next for connectivity? We're going to continue working on our V2V intersection control algorithm for the rest of this semester. We're also working on a V2V demo to showcase how perception of objects can be shared between vehicles. We're going to continue planning for next year to complete our integration and uh, implement intersection control algorithm into our real live vehicles. Thank you.